Thanksgiving dinner for my family and I thought that I would share some of the recipes with you guys so that you guys can create these recipes at home as well. I know for you Canadians this will be posted after Thanksgiving but these are also great recipes that you can use for Christmas or something like that and then for you guys in the United States you guys will have your Thanksgiving soon so that you guys can make these recipes for your family. So I've already pretty much made everything and I'm going to share with you guys exactly how I made it. Alright, so the first recipe I have for you guys is some quinoa cranberry stuffed acorn squash. Basically how I made this was I cut the acorn squash in half, scooped out the insides, and then I basted it with a mixture of maple syrup and apple cider vinegar on either side. Sprinkled it with some salt and pepper and then threw it in the oven to bake. And then for the filling, I sauteed up some onions, threw in some spices like some turmeric, cinnamon, um, cumin, salt and pepper, and then threw in some vegetable broth and let that simmer, let the quinoa cook. And then once the quinoa was cooked, I put in some dried cranberries, some chopped up parsley and pecans, and then we've got our fillings. And now I'm going to put it all together on this board. Just kind of mushing up the squash a little bit so that it's easy to scoop out. Acorn squash is probably my favorite type of squash ever. recipe I have for you is homemade stuffing. I don't know about you, but stuffing has always been my favorite part of like a Thanksgiving or a Christmas dinner. So I made some homemade stuffing. Basically what I did for this is last night, the day before I made this, I chopped up bread and cut them into cubes and let them sit out overnight so that they kind of dried out. And then I sauteed up some celery and some onion just until they were translucent. And then to the bread I added some vegetable broth, the celery and the onion, some brown lentils, some spices, and a flax egg to hold everything together. Then threw it into a baking dish, popped it in the oven, and we've got homemade stuffing. So next up is some vegan mashed potatoes. Super simple recipe, but you have to have mashed potatoes at Thanksgiving or with Christmas. So basically what I did for this is just peeled and chopped up some potatoes, steamed them on the stove, and then transferred them to a bowl. I added some almond milk, some garlic powder, some nutritional yeast, some dried parsley, and some salt and pepper. Blended those up, mashed them up, and we've got some mashed potatoes. I I am making gravy tonight for dinner, but I'm just making some store-bought gravy. I do have a gravy recipe, but it will be in my upcoming ebook. I just had a lot to make today and didn't feel like making gravy, but you will get the gravy recipe soon. <laughs> So our last kind of main dish that I made today was a butternut squash or pumpkin, whatever you want to call it, risotto, risotto, I don't know how you say it, but it's delicious. So what I did for this is I cooked up some brown rice and some vegetable broth, and then to a pan I added in some garlic, some onion, and some cubed butternut squash. And then I cooked that down until it was nice and soft, transferred three quarters of it into a blender, added some vegetable broth, some nutritional yeast, and blended that up until it was nice and smooth. And then I added back to the pot the butternut squash mixture with the nutritional yeast, the brown rice, mixed that all up until it was nice and creamy. And then I saved um, some of the butternut squash and then I have some chopped up spinach here that I'm gonna top it with and make it look all pretty.
This is really, really good because um, most, like a traditional one would use like dairy cheese or whatever, but the nutritional yeast adds still the same kind of flavor, but also has a bunch of health benefits to it. This is honestly so good. I'm so excited to eat this tonight. <laughs> Last but not least, my fifth recipe for you guys has to be a dessert recipe. So I made an apple crisp today. If you guys have seen my fall breakfast videos where I've made the apple pie oatmeal bars, I kind of took that recipe and just made it into an apple crisp. So basically what I did for this is I peeled and chopped up some apples. And then in a blender, I added two dates and about a quarter cup of maple syrup and blended that up until it was as smooth as I could possibly get it. And then um, to the apples, I added some lemon juice, some tapioca starch, some cinnamon, and some salt. And then I added that date mixture, mixed it all up, put it into my baking dish. And then for the top, um, the crumble, I added some oats, some oat flour, some coconut sugar, some cinnamon, and a little bit of plant-based milk to kind of incorporate everything together. Put that on top and then I added a little bit more coconut sugar on top, popped it in the oven, baked it for about an hour, and now we've got a beautiful apple crisp. my Thanksgiving dinner plate. Grandma, how do you like it? Delicious. <laughs> Mom? Well, there's some leftovers to take home. So good. It's good. Hold on, you dark. No. It's good. Grandma you like has. it? Yeah. How about you over there? I really like it. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> There you have it. My recipes are approved by my family members, which means they must taste good. <laughs> and yeah, there you guys have it. Five easy Thanksgiving holiday recipes that you can make for you and your family. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. All the recipes and everything that you need to know will be in the description box down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and let me know what you're thankful for in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!